So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you need to learn the basics of production before you go and invest a ton of money in plugins and VSTs. And stick around to the end of the video because I actually have a few bonus tips for you. So when you are ready to make that leap of faith and jump into investing some money into plugins and VSTs, you could save yourself potentially thousands of dollars. My name is Lennon and I'm a dance music producer that goes by the name Sirius. On this channel, I help you improve your mixes, your masters, your productions, and navigate the music business. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I'm always looking for people to share information and insights on what they want to learn from the channel. Join my Discord server, that is an excellent place to keep in contact with me, and join an amazing community of music producers, artists, rappers songwriters, engineers, sound designers, you name it. Let's dig in and talk about why you don't need the latest and greatest software plugins or VSTs to get started on your career in music production. Every digital audio workstation or DAW, like Ableton, FL Studio, Logic, Cubase, Reason, Pro Tools, they all come with default free plugins. Every one of them is going to have a compressor, a limiter, an EQ, a gate, a reverb, a delay, all of those things. But if you don't know how to fundamentally use a compressor or what the threshold or ratio of a compressor does, what good is a $300 waves compressor going to do for you in your mix? Nothing, because you don't know how to use it. It doesn't make any sense. Once you learn how to use it and what it does fundamentally to your sound and how you can use it to get better results in your mixes, then that's when you it's maybe time to invest in plugins that you can understand some of the coloring and what a specific plugin will do to your mix and master. Learn how to use the stock plugins in your software before you go out spending tons and tons of money. The basics of the stock plugins, they're going to prepare you for the more in-depth tools and features that one of the Waves plugins or FabFilter plugins will provide you with. Now, one thing that I get caught up in quite a bit myself, a lot of people get caught up in, is we're watching producers on YouTube or Twitch or wherever writing music and working on songs and they're they're using different plugins every producer has a different plugin or their own plugin and it's always like oh what is that and oh i see he's added this plugin and they said oh it doesn't make sense and it, it does this type of thing and you're like i want that in my sound stop what is that plugin fundamentally oh it's a harmonic distortion plugin fl studio has one of those and i can achieve the same effect go in there and learn the basics of that before you go out and you spend $150 on this harmonic distortion plugin that you just saw and you've never heard of, because chances are you can achieve that sound in thousands of different ways, and you can even do it for free in your own digital audio workstation. If you're watching, for example, Ian Kirkpatrick, who's one of my favorite producers, or even Skrillex, producing one of his latest songs on YouTube, and he's using a specific plugin, and you don't, you don't want to achieve that same exact sound. That's Skrillex's sound. That's Ian Kirkpatrick's sound. He's already, that's already been done. You want to craft your own sound, come up with your own unique methodologies and techniques so that you can be unique and become the next Skrillex or become the next Ian Kirkpatrick. These strategies and conversations can be carried across all sectors of the music business. Understand how a contract works. Understand how touring works. Understand how marketing works. Understand how this, like you wouldn't want to go and drop $10,000 on Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Google ads or YouTube ads or whatever ads you want to spend on before you actually understand the fundamentals of what CPC, CPM, and all those terms are. Because if you're throwing $10,000 at Facebook a month or $5,000 at Facebook a month, you're not really going to get anywhere if you don't know what you're doing. And that goes for all sectors of the music industry. So these lessons that you can learn on the basics is always bring yourself back to the basics. There's always a distilled version, a cheaper version, a free version that you can get access to and learn from before you start jumping into these bigger items like purchasing plugins or a digital audio workstation. If you're enjoying the content, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below on what you've loved so far and what type of content you would like to see in the future. Moving on to the bonuses. When you're ready to make that step and make that leap 
into purchasing your first plugin or VST or whatever. Check out a lot of subreddits, check out various uh, forums, check out a bunch of different social media accounts. There are a lot that will share deals and stuff that companies like FabFilter, Waves, Isotope, they're running. They run sales all of the time, and especially around different holidays, whether it's Christmas time, whether it's Halloween, whether it's around uh, Thanksgiving, the New Year, Black Friday, all of these companies run really, really good deals. So be sure to follow music producers on social media, subreddits and other social media accounts and join groups, Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, all kinds of different Discord channels to find out what the latest deals are and save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Another thing that I would take advantage of is as you're learning and you're sifting through YouTube and picking up ideas on music production, and a lot of times they have affiliate links for these different companies or programs or softwares that they're using. Take note of that because a lot of times these specific affiliate codes will actually save you money and they have discount codes, sometimes 10, 15, 20% off or a free month of something for plugins and softwares that you may end up using or needing at this time. So that can be another really great way of saving money. So that pretty much wraps up the video for today. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and be discovered by new viewers. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video.